What's up, everybody? Welcome to Power World. <laughs> cheesy start, yeah, cheesy start, cheesy start. Um, I freaking really like this game. I've been playing the hell out of it, as you can see. I have uh, some pretty high level stuff. You can tell it's a bit high level because it doesn't look janky like this, <laughs> like those. Um, this is not a playthrough. I'm not going to play it, obviously, because I'm level 39. <laughs> level 39, so it's not a playthrough at all. This is kind of just, uh, if you're interested in Power World, this is like an introductory video, I guess you can say, to it. There's a lot of cool stuff in it. And hopefully, it'll get you excited for, for, for wanting to play it, I guess. I mean, it's it's a cool game. I really like it. Um, this is the starter area. You start, like, right over there. That's the first person you meet, level 3 Expedition Survivor. That is the first um, waypoint. Waypoint. That's the first uh, teleport, like, fast travel station, right? Because you need to go to those two fast travel unless you have a base down now this is what the base looks like the base looks like that little blue thing it also stores your pals it has a ton of storage so you don't have to worry I'm gonna peep in here and give you guys a little preview of the pals I got uh, they're not super crazy but um, in my opinion they're, they're pretty cool so I like you know, I want to show you what you could expect I'm not super high level and there's a raid couldn't have been a better moment actually quick preview these are a lot of the pals. I'm gonna bring out some some heavy hitter guys. Uh, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, definitely. And we're gonna watch them go to battle and absolutely destroy anything that comes here. I'm gonna take away my little guys so they can get wrecked in the battle. But that's a level two. I just realized it's gonna get wrecked. Get that out of here. I should have put a high level one in there. There we go. <laughs> Instant craziness. And the raid should be almost over. There's one more. Let's blast him. Oh. oh. Who's this? Oh, that's Shadow Blue. Okay. These are types of Pokemon. I haven't named him. I'm pointing a pistol at it. I know. It's a crazy game so far, right? I'm pointing a pistol at a freaking. <laughs> I'm playing a pistol at one of my one of my pals. Uh, did they break something? No. Okay, they're breaking rocks. They're doing what they should be doing, basically. Uh, let's put them away though. We grab all the stuff. Crafting ingredients they drop on the floor. Let's put them away. Okay, let's go back to. Oh, we can sort it actually. No, it's not sorted. Not sorted. You can sort it, but sorting it will. Put away any characters that you had already out. Kind of like these two that I had out. That's why. Now we can sort it. There we go. Okay. Uh, we're also going to go to bed <laughs> real fast. <laughs> it's a crazy start. I just stopped playing this not too long ago. Uh, oh, a long, actually a while ago. I played uh, for a bit. And then I got off. Did some other stuff. It's super late at night right now. So I should be sleeping, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get this power video out. Um, that was one hell of a taste of what the game is. That's not all that it's about, but uh, this is their food. Obviously, look, it's it's uh, the name of it is feed box. Anything you put in there, the animals will eat. It has to be something that is consumable or considered consumable, like the honey that you just seen in there. Honey, mushrooms, a bunch of berries. I have a stack of berries. Things stack in ten thousand. So I have a stack of berries. Um, this is a whole lot to explain. <laughs> but basically you spawn right over there as I mentioned before that level 3 is I can see your health bar. Uh, you spawn right in there you come out and you are greeted with the entire map. Or well, not the entire map. You can't see all of the map from here. Right? And you would think you probably could. I think, I think you actually could. Actually. No, you can't. No, you can't. <laughs> but, um, so if I look in that direction, uh, is it that direction? No, it's further. You see this uh, structure over here? 
this is that structure. Well, not that structure, but it's the same structure as that, just all the way across, because there's big ass mountains in the way. Um, but basically, you catch animals, they're called pals, right? Not to be confused with anything else, but they're called pals, and they will help you do things. Um, the lamball, I can't, well, there's two of them, so lambballs. The lambballs will produce, um, if you have them grazing, they will produce wool for you, and wool is important because you need wool to repair stuff and, um, craft stuff as well, so... This is kind of like, you can think of it as like Minecraft, because there is a build. So you just go over to Foundations. There is a build, you can build out of wood, you can build out of brick, you can build out of metal. Right, there is more building, which is why I don't have all this stuff. There's also, um, a sort of skill tree. So I'll show you the skill tree, so there's your technology. Your skill tree, obviously level 1, you're going to be able to unlock basically most of these items you should probably go with the workbench and the two uh the two uh axe and pickaxe the two axes i should have called it um but you're gonna need those for farming materials right in the starter area there's berries that grow way back here so you can stay here like i did and get berries i have a ton of beds because when raids happen i just pull out a bunch of hard-hitting guys and let them oh Hiccups. Uh, <laughs> let them do all the damage. So I have a bunch of beds. Uh, I don't have the highest quality beds. Uh, that would be right here. This is one of the highest quality beds for the pals, right? For yourself, you don't really need a crazy bed. That's why I put just this bed over here. Um, if you're asking why my house is all janky, that's because I don't believe in building anything for sort of aesthetic reason. It has to be somewhat purpose or useful like this is kind of up in the air so there isn't uh too much of the ground floor taken up but i can put other stuff here it's built honestly pretty bulky but it's just a trial and error thing i built through here and it went up to there and that hole was broken out and they would go up that ramp that was there and go up here but the pathfinding right keep in mind it's still uh it's t on xbox is considered a preview i guess on Steam, it's preview as well, but I have the uh, Xbox app and I have Xbox Game Pass. So for me, this game was free to download. Um, well, it should have been, right? But I downloaded it on Steam because I didn't think it was going to be on Xbox. Um, but it was. So, I mean, I could have got it for free for Xbox Game Pass. Well, not necessarily for free because I pay a subscription. But I could have got it kind of for free. Um... There are shinies, or specials, whichever you want to call them, I call them shinies. Um, this is a shiny land ball, you could tell, because uh, right upon the, just by that little uh, 7, above the 7 to the right of it, there's this, uh, or to the right of that too, there's a little 0, plus 0. Next to that is little stars, that is the indicator that it's a shiny. Another thing that indicates it's a shiny is they're usually freaking big, like that. <laughs> So that's how you tell it's a shiny. Not all of them are big. Like this, this, uh, Kadiva is not, actually this one is bigger, but these two are not. This one definitely is. And these are, um, these are bosses. Now, I don't mean tower bosses because tower bosses are not tameable or catchable. But, um, these are bosses that you find through the map like this. This little check mark. It's a little boss, 38. There's another boss over here, Chillette, level 11. So this area has little bosses to do, all scattered around. All these little check marks are the one I've done. These ones that aren't checked, like this one, it's not done. Um, but there are bosses you can go to or teleport into, right? And that is also tower bosses as well, because towers uh, have tower bosses. But that's different from the other bosses. This guy's right in me. Uh, <laughs> The tower bosses cannot be captured, as I mentioned. The other ones can be. Uh, I want to show you guys some of the bosses that are down here. Because they do spawn down here. Hmm. Right? You think it's a starting area. It shouldn't be crazy guys down here. But there is. And as you've noticed, you can fly on your flyers. You can fly up and take stamina. 
You can fly down. It doesn't take stamina to fly down, but it does take stamina to move while in the air. Um, this mount, specifically, you have to double jump. So you have to tap A if you're playing on controller. I'm playing on controller. You gotta tap A twice to, to do it. <laughs> um, see, this is a boss. He spawns around the map. There's just a uh, ice. I don't. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I can't say they're random because they're not random. Um, but they are just what I would call like above ground bosses. They're not bosses you teleport to. They're not bosses. It's weird. It's weird to explain. They're just they're just bosses. They're 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 just world bosses. Uh, what should I call them? I don't know. Or just, they're not. You call them world bosses. It's kind of weird because that makes them sound stronger than they are. Um, they're just bosses. They should be boss. They're like, um, they're not level dependent either. So it's kind of weird. Um, they're just bosses, dude. I don't, I don't know what to say. They're just simple bosses. They're not simple bosses. Is probably the easier one. They're simple bosses. There's nothing too special about them. Uh, this first tower. I done as well. Can't even. It's kind of hard with the controller. There you go. Um, the Rhine Syndicate. Um, so there are also little factions, like the syndicates. The uh, damn, I forget their names. Most of the time, I just destroy them. <laughs> um, uh, these eagles are little fast travel points. I didn't explain that either, but uh. See this one right there. It's a starting area. The plateau of beginnings. You spawn there. You get that. And you can walk down. It's easier when I use my mouse to explain it. But you just walk down here. There's your little base right there. Up there. You know what I mean? Easier to use a mouse. Because I can uh, click and scroll. Um, better pinpoint. You know what I mean? Like this. So you look better pinpoint. Um... But I like to use a controller. It feels a lot easier on controller. For me, a lot more comfortable. You know, for you, you can, you know, you can use whatever you want. Um, but they're simple bosses. There's nothing too special about them. They're just a boss version of what you could find throughout the map. Like this Mammarist. Sometimes will spawn in the beginning area. Like this little beginning, uh, this little beginning sandy area right here. They can spawn there. They can also spawn along the trail. Uh, I've encountered some on the trail, which is why I know. Um, they can also spawn on the trail. They also spawn in a lot of different places. Uh, you can encounter them. But, um, there's also the chicken. You see the chicken way over there? The little chicken guy. The cat, as I mentioned before. The chicken will lay eggs if you have it in a farm. Uh, I'll show you guys a farm right now since I actually have a farm with a chicken in it. Now, your bases are a little, signif uh, little signification of your bases, little castles. I currently have three bases. I have one for mining, which is this one right here. Um, I'll show you guys that too. Might as well, right? Um, this is my mining base. So if you are starting, you need somewhere to have a mining farm. I have a bunch of Anubises working. Three of them. Three Anubises and someone who can plant and move, uh, move stuff like those ores that are on the ground. And I have someone who can water. Um, that person cannot move stuff. From the ground, but if you notice, uh, I go over here. The chalet is the chalet. The chalet, chalet, the chalet is right here. You can't see it, but what you can see is if I look right there, you can see my base. My base is right there. You can see the front door. I was just standing. I was just standing over there. So it's not that far. Here it is on the map. Let's see, look. Basically, this jump, there's a jump right here. I'm sorry to explain this now. This is a jump right here. And you can make that jump. Uh, you just go down the path. You cut a right and you go over some some trees. Go through some trees. Jump over. And then you can go down and pass through the chalet. And there's a bridge, which is this bridge in front of me. And this is the bridge. Um, now, structures do decay outside this little zone of influence. So your base has a zone of influence. It's pretty wide. Pretty wide, pretty pretty big. Look at the zone of influence. Look at that. See, it's also it's it's really tall. I guess it's really tall. Would that be the? I guess it's up high somewhere too. So it's got a lot of depth to it. But 
see the zone of influence right there that blue line goes all the way around all the way around cuts off a bit over there goes all the way around I'm picking up a lot of stuff that I shouldn't be but I'm going to get into that and I'm super heavy I also have stuff I should get rid of okay that's fine I'll let them pick that stuff up because they could also the good thing about the Anubis is, and I'll tell you before I go to the farm um we're getting raided okay uh, I'll tell you real fast see how there is uh, under the little plus zero there's these little icons those are what um, tasks your pals are capable of doing in this case one of my pals is capable of handiwork which is uh, helping you out craft stuff that's what I mean um, God that's a gunner that's scary so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call off what are my newbuses what level are they newbuses I have to take that one out. I have to take that one out. I gotta call some big boys. Cause this is not good. <laughs> this is not good. I gotta call some big boys out. Uh, to handle. They're gonna be stressed because there's not enough beds. But I'm gonna go ahead and open this gate. And we're gonna see how things are gonna go. Cause they're doing one damage at a time. But as soon as they get in here. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die at this guy. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. Get to work! Help! There's <laughs> one left. He didn't cross the bridge yet. Look, <laughs> look at him. You can also shoot the people. So don't think that I can't shoot him. Because I don't want to shoot him. Well, I gotta see him though, actually. <laughs> Come here, buddy. You missed out, friend. So that's the rate. Oh, there's one over there. Oh, he got—he fell off. He must have fell off. So, if they try to come from any other direction but this bridge, they cannot get up here. So this is the only—this uh, is the only area you have to defend. Really, is this bridge area, which is perfect. This game is multiplayer. It is not currently cross-play. Um, when it is, that'd be really good because my brother have been wanting to play this game together. Oh, picked up a bunch of random stuff. Okay. Uh, Pretty micromanaging sometimes. I'm gonna put the gold in just because I don't know where I see it. Is he here? No. Did he, is he here? No. Okay. The other guys I could put away. It's Anubis I'll leave here and then I'll put the other Anubises back. They're not super high level, which is sad because I do not want them to die, which is the reason why I take them out. Because well, they don't die. They go unconscious, right? Any any enemy you attack does not um, yeah. does not die. It goes yeah. unconscious. So even if you smack an oh, I'm picking up ores. If, if you smack an enemy with a crazy high damage thing, he's gonna despawn. Okay, he's despawned. Okay, that's crazy. I got two raids back to back. That's. That's absolute luck. There are also gliders. Uh, so if you push A and then push A again, you will glide. I do not have a glider on me because I do not I don't want a glider. It's a little heavy, not super heavy, but um, I've been running around carrying lots of ores recently, like this, or coal, which is also uh, another crafting gear you need to get. Um, and that's for, you know, this refined ingot, I need coal. But um, back to the pals, right? So the hand means handiwork, meaning that he can assist you in building and crafting. Uh, what else? Building and craft. I think it's just building and crafting. Sorry, I got the burps. Um, it's just building and crafting. Uh, the mining three means he can mine materials like this. Uh, these Anubises are. And the last one. Oh crap! And the last one. Well, not the last one, but the last one that's lit up is transporting, which means that he can move things from one place to another. Um. The very last one is grazing, which means if you put the enemy into a, how do you say, a pen, a farm, what's it called, actually? Yeah, where's it at, hang on. Do I have it? I do have it right here, the ranch. You put him in the ranch, 
they uh, will graze, right? And when they graze, they will drop certain things. Oops, I made checks. They will drop certain things, which is why I said that if you have the pal in a farm, um, I'm at the ranch, right? If you have this Lambo in a ranch, he will graze, right? Push X to get more details. Sometimes drops wool when assigned to ranch, right? You see the fluffy shield right there, the description. So you could use this guy as a shield if you really wanted to. But the work suitability, see how I was saying that earlier? Work suitability, that is what they could do, right? Kindling, meaning that he can um, cook stuff for you, uh, like this. This uh, is your for the first one of the first things you get to cook stuff. Uh, you can cook almost anything in here. The other one is a higher level one, which is gonna be in food, right? Should be in food. Yeah, right here, cooking pot. The cooking pot uh, gets you a lot more ingredients. It's just that's really a difference. Uh, gets you more ingredients. This one allows you to cook metals and, co and charcoal. Yeah, charcoal, which requires kindling. See, requires kindling. Requires kindling. Requires kindling. This one will say. Um, well, I won't say anything right now, but um, they're gonna grow, right? And they need someone to harvest them. That is a different perk entirely, which is why I have that green character over there. This one is only watering. You see, when I look at him, he has watering too. It's a little, uh, like a little uh, watering can. Let me see. We'll look at him through here. But uh, he's a watering can, which means he can only water, right? Then I have a a valet. <laughs> This one eats a lot, which is really bad. I don't really like that it does that, but you know what I mean? I don't have, I do have other people that can do what he does, but it does. Is it he? Yeah, it is he. Do what he does, but not as good as he does it, right? There's these uh, tansies, they're monkeys, and they do a lot of stuff, but at level one, right? It's just why they have levels on it, right? Watering two means he's gonna water faster. Um, the plant is seeding. I believe it's called seeding planting. Okay, hold on. Planting. Seeding is the action they do. Um, but planting, they'll plant stuff. Gather means that they will gather the planted stuff after it's done growing. Handiwork means that they can help you construct stuff. Medicine means it can produce medicine. And transporting is transporting stuff. Now, higher level transporting means it can transport more. Um, handiwork, you know, handiwork, higher level handiwork means it can build, help you build more. Help you build quicker, rather, not build more. Help you build quicker. Gathering too means quicker plant, quicker gathering, quicker planting. Pro medicine production is quicker medicine production. Um, but they also have passive skills along with their partner skills, right? All pals have partner skills that could be useful to you in whatever way. You just got to figure it out, really. <laughs> I don't have all the pals, so I can't say all the pals stuff. But I know for the ones I have um, that they... Uh, pretty useful right they can help you with a lot of stuff but the passive skills are what you want to worry about right sanity drops 50% faster and this one has an increase to lightning attack damage so if it had a lightning perk it could do lightning damage um, then it, it will be better right um, right now it just drops sanity faster if you see the sanity it says S A N sanity is kind of like their willingness to work so if you have a lower sanity, they will not be willing to work. They will sleep a lot. They will slack off. And they will just not work. Right? That's why you have this. You have a straight up like sauna for them. Because that will increase their sanity. Not increase their sanity? Yeah. Yeah. That will bring the sanity levels higher. Right? Higher sanity levels. Higher sanity levels, the better. Um, they have beds. These little beds are all around here. I have seven beds, but I only have 14 pals, and I could have 18 pals total. So you see base info right on the top right. Under it, it says pals, four of 18. 18 is the max pals I could have. Beds, I could have a total of seven, and I have four pals. So that's what seven of four is. Now, uh, obviously, like I said, pals could help you do stuff. Like this one is kindling, which means I could pull them out of the box, put them here. And this, he will work on whatever I want him to work on. Um, the bosses tend to have a lot more health. But their level goes down to whatever level you are when you caught them. So, it's kind of like... See, like some of these like, I got when I was kind of low level. Some of them I might have put levels into, like I carry them with me. Like this one, I'm carrying with me to level them up. Because enemies that 
not enemies, um, pals that you have in your team or your party, they will gain XP from your kills. So it's kind of like a blowing up. Uh, another thing you can do is capture people, right? You can capture people. That's just, just you can just capture people. It's freaking, it's funny. Uh, it's pretty messed up, but it's hilarious. Uh, see, this is a syndicate thug, right? As I was mentioning earlier, it's kind of like factions. One of the factions is the syndicate. Another faction is the Free Pal Devouts. And the Free Pal the Free Pal Devouts look like look like that. They have crossbows, they would run, they have crossbows. Um another guy, the syndicate thugs look like did I put them in? I didn't. Syndicate thugs look like that. So the guys I just killed earlier, they look like that. Let's put him back because he, he doesn't do anything. Oh, you know, he does handiwork, but that's all the humans do. They don't do anything else. Um, there's also watering three, so you know there's higher levels to your gathering and that sort of thing. There's electric types, water types. There's these, uh, I guess, grass types. There's water and ice types. They can be both, or well, they could be one, just like these hedgehogs, or a jolt hog. Or oh, they could be nature, or, or I'm thinking to say the world, they could be lightning as well. Um, some of these are absolutely adorable, like this one, the Depresso. He's a poison type, I guess? He's a poison type? Am I a dark type or a poison type? I guess, I don't know. But, uh, these guys are freaking hilarious to have. They come out at night. There's different enemies at night, and I'm going to show you some of the enemies that you can get at night. Like these guys, you get them at night. They look freaking cool as hell. You get up at night, their hair glows nice and pretty. Uh, these ones, I believe, you get at night as well in some areas. Uh, the wolves are in certain areas. Let's see. Let's tab over, tab over. This guy is a night character as well. Hangs around at night. They look freaking really cool. Um, these characters, like this, that are fire, are usually limited to the desert areas or the volcanic area so the volcanic area is down over here i haven't flown over all of it yet because it's a big old mountain right like right here where it's at exactly so i flew around the mountain stuff like that um volcanic area right here all right here will be monsters and i mean on the lava as well because they 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 don't die in the lava they stand on it They're fire types right so they don't take damage you also find some along here because there's a path, I'll use my mouse for this, a path going up to here. I think, yeah, there you see a little trail right there. It goes in that trail and up through here. And then you can go through all over here. Or if you have a flyer, you can just get close and fly over the little uh, lip. Because there's a, uh, it's kind of like a big shelf. Like this is one big shelf with other shelves on top of it, that sort of thing. Um, but you can fly up and over and then be like right here and fly around and look for stuff. So dragons, one of the uh, one of the um, guys I let out was a dragon, kind of a dragon. Um, but this guy is more dragon esque, right? Because I got him from Dragon Egg. So what could be more dragon, right? Um, he's a dragon. I gotta sort these guys again. He's a dragon. This guy I caught in a very special place. These areas right here, not this area specifically, but I mean areas like this. They are like reserves for special animals, so you have to fly over there. I flew there and back, which is why it's pretty wide compared to like uh, like this streak right here. It's not as wide. I, I went around. Um, but you'll find special ones right here, and you'll find special ones at the other one right there. I think there's a third one somewhere, probably around here. So, you know, somewhere. <laughs> I haven't really checked. Um, I just seen those two and went to them. Uh, what else? Let me see. We're back to nighttime characters. Nighttime characters. Okay, nighttime characters are really cool. I will show you guys. Uh, one of the, another nighttime character is this character in the volcanic area. Look how freaking cool its flames are. I like its flames. <laughs> so that's a nighttime character. These ones are not nighttime characters, which is kind of funny, but they're not nighttime characters. I have a ton of these guys because I was breeding them. So they are they are bred. Uh, not all of them are bred. Oh, I think uh, these ones were probably caught 
which is the reason why they don't have like those gold. These ones were caught and these ones were bred. Um, it's also the Lovelander. I need to change his name. <laughs> uh, let's see, more nighttime characters. This is a nighttime character as well. It spawns in the volcanic area at night. It's really cool. It does not fly, even though it has wings. Or seemingly wings. There are also giant characters. This is a pretty big character. This is also a pretty big character. As you've seen, the Mamorous. This is the one. This is not the boss. The boss is. Uh, do I even have the boss? I don't. Because they're really. The bosses are really hard to catch. Um, some of them, not all of them, right? Some of them, like, these low-level ones that I had caught. This one is the boss, but I had caught him and carried him with me for a while, which is why he's level 21, and not level... Where is he? And not level, uh... Can you show me his level, dude? Uh, level 11, right? He's right over there. I gotta fly over so like I said double jump tap a twice he flies see this is a shillette he's a low-level guy now to me at least but previously he was previously he killed me like pretty badly when I was level 10 and I was like okay I'm not going for that no more and then when I became like level 20 something I came back and murked him which is funny because now I could just do this and he dies goodbye Nice. Okay. Um, another thing about the bosses, I gotta land. I'm pushing descent because you gotta hold descent to fall, so you don't use any stamina, right? Because flying uses stamina, so descending and landing will get your stamina back. Uh, the shinies. I don't say the bosses. But the shinies, real quick. The shinies. You could hear them. You could hear them. They have this like glimmering noise. Uh, that's not a shiny, that's just a big character, but shinies are usually big. Uh, some of them are not. Okay. But the bosses... What's I going to say about the bosses now, damn it? Uh, you can catch... I already said that. Come on. Oh, I was going to go over the points. The bosses will give you these uh, purple points. I'm going to this thing out of the way. Uh, these purple points, the tech, ancient technology points, you get from the bosses. The bosses that are kind of just laying around... You can get um, those ancient tech points, right? Tech points you get from leveling or from finding uh, finding these TP points. You should get like one per TP point, which if you know, you get a lot. So you get a lot. Um, the bosses also give you material, like the one I just got. But the one I just got, um, a little cloth outfit, okay. Uh, like these precious pelts, the ancient civilization parts. They give you pal souls. Now, what pal souls do is they let you give your pals an upgrade, kind of like a skill point upgrade. The more uh, pal souls you have, the more you can upgrade your guys. But there are rarities to it, right? This is a small pal soul. This is a medium pal soul. Um, so there's a difference, right? If you can see my character, I gotta push A on this one. He has a plus 22. That is because he consumed, or I gave him plus 22 pal souls, right? And that's from varying like types, right? Because I gave him, gave him a bunch of these small ones first, then you use the purple ones, and then there are gold ones. Um, the gold ones are gold. Pretty easy, right? The gold ones are gold. Um, your pal balls or spheres, pal spheres, also come in rarities. Um, you can find both of these kind of laying on the ground. Actually, all of them. You can find all of them laying on the ground. Um, at random. Right, at random. Uh, you can find blue ones mostly around here. If you kind of just walk around, you'll find a blue one somewhere laying on the ground. Um, but you can also craft pal spheres. Now, we have to go back to my base to check out the pal spheres. See, like, taking a bath. And sometimes they will sleep in the bath too, which is kind of funny. Push the wrong button again, I feel. Teleport back to this base. Hopefully, we'll get raided. But we're gonna teleport back to this base. They do get stuck sometimes, right? Trying to pick stuff up like that. They don't know what they're doing. Leave them alone. 
Okay, uh, but you also have to craft power spheres. Now, you won't have this right away. This is the power sphere assembly line. This is the second version of it, so I can craft ultra spheres, these hyper spheres, um, which is just rarities of it, right? You craft rarities of it. It costs palladium fragments, and the palladium fragments, you'll find them right away because you can get them from mining rocks. Or you can get them from mining these blue little crystal thingies around here. Right there. There's one right there. Look at that. One right there on the ground, too. Now, the pal spheres will also kind of look like a blue thing on the ground. So, uh, you, yeah, you see those. There's also chests that spawn right there. A pa on the pal sphere. But uh, the palladium fragments that spawn right there as well. Look, my zone influence is right here, too. It's kind of crazy. But uh, you can go by, grab this. It'll give you some gold, give you some arrows, give you some med supplies, sometimes, right? It won't always give you the same amount of the stuff I got. It's kind of just a random amount that you might be able to get. Um, but you can craft power spheres, right? And I think I showed you briefly what you need to craft them with. But uh, the, the small one, or the first one you get, the power sphere, Costs 171, not 171, sorry. <laughs> Cost one palladium fragment, three wood, and three stone. Now, we're gonna go to my farm and I'll explain some of the farming details uh, there because it's, it's, it's gonna be easier to explain it there so I can show you too. Now, my farm is way over here, right? And the reason it's over here is because this area, um, see all that white border. That is actually a, well, I'll kind of show you, I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you. It's like a giant shelf, except it doesn't go down, it doesn't waterfall down, right? Or oh, it kind of does, I guess, but see how it has this big old white border? I'm up on this big old, like, plateau, if that's the correct term, uh, <laughs> but uh, no enemy can get up here through... Like natural ramps, I guess you could say natural ramps up here. They can't. They all come and like gather up right down there. Not exactly down where I'm looking, but down like towards where my feet is. That little bush by my foot to my right foot. That's like where they gather up. They kind of just gather up there and they can't do anything about it. They just stack up there. I jump on my, my mount and I just wreck them all. Um, but back to farming. You see all the stuff on the ground? When enemies graze, like I mentioned earlier, that the, uh, the land ball can graze. And when you have some characters that can graze, they will produce things like gold coins. <laughs> that's not what the cow does, that's what the, uh, this cat does. The cat will produce gold coins, the cow will produce milk. Um, this one's empty for some reason, but they're all, like, right here. Like, that one is a grazing one. That one's a grazing one, and that one's a grazing one. All these, all this stuff. Um, this character right here in particular produces high quality cloth, which is a high end material that you will need to craft uh, refined armor and that sort of thing. Cats produce gold. That one produces honey. And the reason I'm producing honey, uh, gold, and a bunch of other stuff is because I need them for a cake. And you're gonna ask what what is cake? You just like cake? No, cake. <laughs> Cake is used to breed animals, such as this this station right here is a breeding station. Watch, I walk up to it. It requires one male, one female, and cake. You gotta put cake in there, which is what I'm making right there. See this little pot right here, and this guy blowing flames on it? He's making cake. He's making eight cake. It takes a really long time to craft some things and to build some things as well. Um, some structures can take a minute. I think this one will take a minute. And actually, that one might. That one... This one actually, I think, takes three minutes. And then if you have your pals work on it with you, it can reduce it to a minute or even less, like 40 seconds, which is freaking crazy. Like, if I were to build something, let's just build this right for the hell of it. I want to build it right here. See my pals? All the pals that have handiwork are assigned to it. It's going to finish in five seconds. I'm going to cancel it before it does. But <laughs> it finishes really quickly. Put the high call in there, put that in there. I don't know what I can put in there, because 
Okay, I also have flour. Flour is something you need as well to make cake. It's part of the ingredients. I can't show you the ingredients right now because that is occupied. Um, but it is flour. It is milk. It is wheat and uh, wheat and honey, which is why I have honey. So if you look in here, oh, also eggs. Sorry. So it's this, 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 and then the flour, right? So we need all the all these to be flour. I have a ton. I have a ton, almost a thousand milk from that one cow. Uh, if I had another cow, then I'd probably have a lot. The honey, I have a lot. I have these two bees grazing. Now, there's a difference between these uh, brigade, bee grade, and the... Oh, i got to go into the power box to show you. And the... Um, I have a boss one, don't I? Yeah, I do. And the Elizabeth bee. Right? The Elizabeth bee is like the queen bee. It does not graze kind of just orders around uh, other bees which is why it has the pow or partner skill of um, stats will increase the more be greater in your team be grade be greater in your team so the more of these guys I have in the team with that character uh, the more damage they would do basically so it's kind of like a buff um, I have these like gorilla guys I don't know how to pronounce their name but they're like mostly, they look like mostly monkeys, right? Um, they do my farming, right? Wood farming specifically. Um, but look at there, yeah. See, they have one handiwork, two logging, and three transport, which is perfect. See, look at that, he's transporting an egg. Perfect. You transport the egg right into the food basket, and there you go. Another thing is, I do not have to move this food into there for them. They move it themselves. So they feed themselves. Um, they don't drink, but they feed themselves. They, they feed themselves, basically. All this stuff was not put in by me. This was put in by them. They moved the stuff to their base. See, they, they plant their own seeds. They water their own food. This guy is a giant. He's a shiny. He's a shiny pangolet. Uh, I'm also crafting a hundred palladium fragment just because I have a ton of uh, stone. I'll show you. It's a stone right now. I have a stack of stone, which is 10,000. And then a stack of almost 3,000. But everything stacks in 10,000, I believe. Um, I gotta put some of this stuff in here. Okay. <laughs> a lot of stuff stacks in 10,000. Uh, can I put anything else in there? No, I don't think so. Okay. Um, I mean, this seems pretty complicated, but once you get the... Um, once you get the idea that... Different piles do different things. It's going to put you on a pal hunt. Now, whether you'd like to watch videos for that or not, I personally don't like to watch videos for that. I like to be able to catch my pals and be like, hey, this one does this. That's cool. It could be useful here or there. You know what I mean? Learn it for myself. Um, another thing I want to show you guys, too, is the pal, not the pal incubators, the uh, egg incubators. I have four of them here because I breed, obviously. Um, recently, I've been breeding a lot of those um anubises because of their stat because of their stats in handiwork and mining for my mind farm which is the one i was at previously um but like i said this one i don't have to worry i can go afk here the enemies if they do come they will stack up down there and i could just get on my flyer and kill them all pretty quickly um because of the ability my, my flyers have so uh, you guys have already seen this ability. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen that ability. Uh, this little, this little fireball I throw. That's a lot bigger than I thought it was. I don't remember changing it is the thing. I don't remember changing it. I had air cannon on there because it did a little bit of damage. So in case I'm on my flyer, yeah, they can learn different skills. Um, you can also feed them fruits. There are fruits that spawn around the map on the floor, or there are trees. I should show you a tree, actually. I should show you a tree. Uh, is it becoming night? It's about to. Next to my health down there, to the right of it, there is a hot and cold meter, because different biomes have different temperatures, so there are hot and cold, um, hot and cold elements of it. I'm gonna sleep real fast. I have a chicken here, so 
Actually, it doesn't anyway. But I was going to say, I have a chicken here, so it makes sense that it does it, but it doesn't anyway. Um, let's run over and go to... Can I? A wrong button. <laughs> can, I, also, can I teleport to it? Okay, uh, it's down here. The closest thing is probably here, because the, the, the tree is right at this jump. It is right at the jump. So I'll show you guys a jump, actually. Use my mouse for that. It's a little faster to to navigate. Okay, uh... This is not the closest. I should transfer to my base. This is down low. This is, this is um... The bottom of my base. Watch. See, it's down, it's down over there. To the left. It's right there. It's that one over there. But the jump and the... There's a giant egg right there, too. The eggs that spawn all over the map. See the egg uh, over there, and there's it's so much to explain in so little time. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, good. It didn't, it didn't reach it. But I pushed B on accident, trying to descend. Because if you do not, uh, if you use all your stamina, then you have to wait for your stamina to fill to use it again. But you see the tree right there? The trees look like that. They're skill trees. Um, the skills on them do regen. See, so look, they regen. And they're little fruits. You go up and pick them. Ignis Blast, Power Shot, Electric Ball. And you could feed these fruits. I'm going to feed them all to that one. But you could feed these fruits to your tames, and they will have those abilities so you can use them, which is why I have a ton of abilities. I didn't even mean to have B as my uh, flame thing. I think I might use the fireball instead of the rock lance. Because the rock lance, you have to kind of time it like, like that. You need to time where they're going to go. Um, it does interrupt enemies, just like the power shot would. I might change it right now. So I'll change the rock lance. What should I change the rock lance to? There's a nightmare ball as well. I'll change it to that. Yeah, we should have it like that. Oh, well, you gotta get off your team and get back on yep. it. And there you go, air cannon. It's also um, a quick recharge one. See how fast it recharges? Left bumper, left bumper, killed it. So it recharges it pretty quickly, which is nice. That guy does not know where he's going because he's going right to my base. And. Usually enemies What the hell's going on? <laughs> he's bugging out. Uh he's standing on that stuff. Enemies that not enemies, but random pals that try to walk into your base, they just get scared of your animals and they leave. They don't really care. They're like, huh? And then they just leave and they turn around and run. Um Oh that little fire over there, like I mentioned, there's different uh There's different factions. One of the factions likes to capture pals. So you have pals in cages. Like, you see the cage? <laughs> you have pals in cages. Which is kind of uh, sad but adorable. Because look how they look when they're in the cage. They look sad. Oh, wrong one. He's dead. Dead as heck. Oops. Oh, my buddy. He got under me. My bird decided to attack him. Okay, well that's basically it for that. Look at that. Look how sad he looks. Release you guy. You can release them. It's random what pal is in there. Like, that guy doesn't usually spawn in this area. But the fact that he's here is kind of funny. Uh, this is an XP bonus. Every one you catch, you get an XP bonus. Uh, and that goes towards a... Um, a bigger XP bonus you get for capturing your first 10. So you capture 10 of each one, you get an XP bonus. It's really nice, you get a lot of XP. Um, but, man, there's a lot of stuff to this game. It's so hard to explain in one video. Uh, I might do a second one of uh, a more explanation on stuff. But, I mean, because there's still, like, breeding, um, breeding charts to show you what to breed what, to get what. Um, there's also... Um, the condenser, I didn't show you guys the condenser. I'll go to it right now real fast. Uh, the condenser. 
Pretty sure I built it here. The condenser is that. So what it does is um, you put one pal in and if you have more than one of that pal you can assign them all into it. Right now it's 16 because I already started them up once. But see 16 I need 10 more. Um, but if you put them in there they will increase the pals star which increases the stats of it. See how the stats increase. 3,853 to 4,037. It increases the stats, the defense, stuff like that. It also increases the stats of the uh, the skill. So you see how I have Aerial Marauder on him? Aerial Marauder it basically just increases the player damage to weak points in enemies while I'm mounted. While I'm mounted. So yeah, I do more, a little more damage to enemies on their weak spots. While I'm mounted, which is why I like to mount him. Oh, that sounds weird. Fuck. Which is why I like to. It's <laughs> just why I like to fly the the bird around. Um, hit my enemies like that. Um, but I mean, that's. Uh, well, the eggs too. Uh, I'll explain the eggs as well since I'm here. Um, the eggs. You put an egg in here, or you, well, you get an egg from here, right? After you made it, you get an egg from here. Or if you find an egg somewhere around the map, you put it in one of these incubators, and you will have a time limit until it hatches. Now, sometimes it'll have, uh, like, a small requirement, like, oh, it needs to be a little warmer, so you put a fire. That's why I put a fire um, around these four, or these four around a fire, <laughs> is so that I can get a little bit of boost in the incubation speed, and that can reduce... Um, your thing by 50%. So if you have an hour, you know what I mean? It's gonna be 30 minutes. Which is cool. If you got 30 minutes, it's gonna be 15 minutes. You know what I mean? You can increase it with better stuff, but uh, honestly, I like to sit AFK here, so it doesn't matter because I could just sit here AFK, put on a movie, put on a YouTube video, watch something, anything, um, and just let them hatch. You know what I mean? Uh, it's not a big whip to wait. Uh, but, I mean, dang, that's it for this video, guys. If you guys want to learn more about Power World, I'm going to be playing it off cam. This is probably one of the only videos I'll make of it. Unless you guys want more detail or you want me to explore more zones and tell you what spawns where or where you should put your base where. Because there's also a base spot I want to put. is right here at the top. Another thing you need is coal. So the coal is going to be all up there. There's like six veins of coal up there. Just freaking perfect um but yeah i mean that's it for this video if you liked it leave a like if you want to see more power world get a little bit more information uh let me know in the comments or show me by liking uh and i'll see you guys next time